I was recently watching a video by Jason Sedidas about a new feature in a recent update to Tonex where you're actually able to record your own uh, demo DIs as they're called. Basically it's a direct recording of the guitar with no effects, no capture, anything on it. But then that Tonex can play that and play it through a capture so that you can uh, audition different sounds. So I was thinking about different ways that I could record these myself and uh, record some of my own so that I could get some of my own sounds to audition. Now I have a licensed copy of Studio One from Presonus and I could use that, but I was trying to think of some ways to do this uh, that if someone didn't have that and they just had Tonex, their Tonex pedal and a Windows computer, how could they go about creating uh, one of these DIs and have it sound good and, um, and use that in Tonex. So I came up with a process for that and I thought I'd share it with you. I just want to note this isn't a sponsored video. The only thing that you'll see that I didn't pay for was the Joe Satriani amp pack, which I actually got off of a giveaway on Instagram from IK Multimedia, but that was in no way connected to this video. So I just wanted to get that out of the way as we got going. So first off, you're gonna to wanna to download the free software called Audacity. If you just Google Audacity, it'll be one of the first results. It's free software, and you can download that from audacityteam.org. I'll put a link down below in the description. Once you get it installed and launch it, it'll look something like this. Now to make this easier, I'm doing this with my Tonex pedal as my audio interface. It's not my standard one that I use, but I figured it'd be easier if I showed you how to use your Tonex pedal to do this. If you have another ASIO interface you want to use, by all means, use that instead. So to get it set up with Audacity, go into the Audio Setup menu. Under Playback Device, choose Speakers Tonex. Recording Device is Line Tonex. And then under Audio Settings, you want to have the host be the Windows WAS API. And then again, you'll see your speakers, your line, and you want the channels to be mono because Tonex is expecting a mono wave file. In addition, you'll want your project sample rate to be 44,100 hertz. So we'll click OK here, and then we'll click on the microphone that's next to the recording meter here and choose Enable Silent Monitoring. If everything's set up correct, you should be able to strum your guitar and you should see that you have some input signal there. This is our direct guitar signal, so there's no effects on this whatsoever. Now, when we're playing our direct track, we probably want to have some kind of amp capture on the sound just for inspiration and to get the feel of what we're trying to play. Um, it's not going to sound quite right if we're trying to record something heavy and all we have is our direct guitar signal. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and launch Tonex at the same time. And in our settings here, we want our technology to be ASIO. Our Tonex pedal, our instrument input is going to be Tonex in one. And then our output is also the Tonex. Of course, you're going to want to have the output of your Tonex plugged into something that you can hear. And that way you can hear the sound that's coming out of both Tonex and Audacity. I'll close this menu. Now I'll select an amp capture. And so now both Tonex and Audacity will be getting the direct signal from my guitar but only Tonex will be adding the capture to that sound. Audacity will still be receiving the raw direct signal. So if I play something here, you'll see I've got my Tonex sound, but you'll also notice the meters here up in Audacity are also responding to the input. So now that we've got the signal in both applications, Let's jump over to Audacity and start the recording process. All right, now I'll go back to the beginning of that and replay it just so we can hear what that sounds like. So that'll be good for now. So let's go ahead and trim this up. I'll grab this area here and press backspace and that'll get rid of that sound. I'll grab the end here and press backspace 
And actually, I'm going to delete just a little more of this. And then from here to the end, I'm going to add a fade out. So let's hear what the whole thing sounds like now. I think that's going to be good for now. So let's go into Tonex and see what we need to do to use this. So first, we'll click on our audio demo section and go up to custom DI. If you haven't done this before, you'll just have this one option in your custom DI menu. You'll click that and it'll tell you to add your DIs to the custom DI folder. So I'll click OK. And what's happened here is Tonex has created a folder under your documents, IK Multimedia, Tonex folder called custom DI. And that's where we're going to save our file. So I'll close this window out. I'll go back to Audacity, I'll go to File, Export Audio, and then choose to Export to Computer. Now I'll go ahead and browse to my custom DI folder. Is in our Documents, IK Multimedia, Tonex, Custom DI. And we'll give this file a name. And the name you give this file will be the name it's called in Tonex. We'll just go down through and make sure all of our settings are correct. So the format is going to be a WAV format mono with a 44,100 hertz sample rate. From there, just click the export button. For a piece this small, that should go almost instantaneously. Let's jump over to Tonex now and go into our audio demo, custom DI, and there's our test riff. Now we can listen to it just through Tonex. So creating your custom DIs is as easy as that. Of course, if you just wanted to record them using your dry DI signal, you wouldn't have to launch Tonex separately, but this is a good way. So I hope that gives you some ideas on how you could record your own DIs for Tonex. And uh, I'm sure there are other ways to do it. There are probably better ways to do it, but that's just one way that I thought to do it where you could have both the Tonex sound and have your original DI sound uh, recorded at the same time. So if you've made it this far in the video, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.